we get into our program at eight o'clock, we have a very special treat for you here tonight. For in-person guests, again, please come into the ballroom and make your way to your seats as the North Star Boys Choir is here on the stage. So what a treat to have the North Star Boys Choir here with us tonight singing for us. So let's hear it for their artistic director, Francis Stockwell, who came from New Zealand and then instructed the Boys Choir in Austria before coming here to Minnesota. So we are all so very happy that you are here. Welcome to Francis and the North Star Boys Choir. Well, thank you very much. You now know my name is Francis Stockwell. I am the director of the North Star Boys Choir. Uh, this for us is a great honor to sing at such a wonderful and very important uh, occasion and silent auction. And we feel very honored to be a part of this. I got to know about Crescent Crow, Clo uh, Clo uh, Cove uh, through two boys and their parents, of course, who are in the choir, Daniel and Nolan. We all know that music can touch the hearts of everybody. Music has no language barrier. Therefore, it is the universal language. And uh, it's a special part, I feel, of touching the children of this organization. We will be singing four pieces for you. The first one is Shenandoah, which I presume is well known to everybody. And the second one will be the prayer from Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel, brother and sister, lost in the forest, and before they lie down to go to sleep, they pray to the Lord to send angels, 14 angels, down to look after them so that they will be safe from the animals. And then comes Another prayer, an Ave Maria. Many Ave Marias have been written. This one is based on a prelude by Bach, Johannes Bach, and the melody was written by Charles Gounod, a French person, a composer, and our soloist will be Isaac Sackman. The two soloists actually for the prayer just before that, it's a duet, will be Casey and Joshua. And then we will finish with a piece I'm sure you all know very well, You Raise Me Up. So thank you, enjoy the music and the evening.
What a treat. Thank you, boys, and thank you, Francis. As an aside, my name is Dick Bramer. I'll be the MC tonight uh, along uh, with Megan, and uh, uh, we're uh, thrilled to be here tonight. But as an aside, 20 years ago, my son Eric was uh, in Francis's boys' choir and also uh, my son's piano teacher. So how about another nice hand for the North Star Boys' Choir? I am Dick Bramer. I do Twins games on television, and we are thrilled to be here once again, and always great to hear great music. Uh, Sue Nelson is here as our pianist. Sue, thank you for your wonderful music talents offered again here tonight. And I'm honored to share the story which begins with the legacy of a man whose spirit is living on through Crescent Cove's mission. Harmon Killebrew once said, let's make every moment count and help those who have a greater need than our own. The founders of Crescent Cove believe these words to be true in each of our lives, and especially for children who have life-threatening conditions. Tonight is a night when we are making moments count and making a very important mission possible for our precious children and families here in our hometown. Harmon was dedicated to improving the lives of children with special needs and after two near-death experiences, also became an advocate for hospice and ensuring that people of all ages had dignity and love at the end of their lives. Crescent Cove is grateful to Harmon's widow, Nita Killebrew, and their dear friends who serve on the Harmon Killebrew Advisory Council. I'm honored to be on the Killebrew Committee with Nita's and Harmon's uh, friends, Tony and Gordette and Anita Oliva, Jack and Jennifer Morris, Paul Molitor, Clyde Deppner, Bert and Gail Blylevin, Destiny Molitor, Rod and Rhonda Carew. Several of us are here tonight, and what an honor it is to support an organization that focuses on making moments count in Harmon's memory. And now I'd like to introduce my co-MC, whose family was directly touched by the need for this hospice home, Crescent Cove, since the very beginning. Morgan? Good evening. My name is Morgan Prez Tift, and I'm honored to be here with you all tonight. Some of you might remember me as I spoke at the very first gala when we launched the Carmen Killebrew Hospice Home for Kid Funds 11 years ago. I was 12 at the time back in 2013, and I'm now 22, have graduated college, and am pursuing a career in therapy. Our family knew the need for this mission because of my sister, Mariah Tift, who died in 2010 at the age of 16. She died from a rare form of bone cancer, Ewing sarcoma. As she neared the end of her battle with cancer that started when she was just nine years old, she asked to die at a children's hospice, but there wasn't one anywhere in the Midwest. She did not want to pass away at home because she did not want our family to have remembrances of her dying there. In her mind, our own home wasn't even an option. If Crescent Cove would have been here back then, I know 100% without a doubt that she would have chosen that option. Eventually, she was accepted at a nursing home for adults for hospice care, and that is where she died. Her final wish was for there to be a children's hospice home in Minnesota for other families like ours. I'm happy to be here tonight sharing Mariah's spirit with you all. I know she's so proud to see us all here just as Harmon would be. Thank you, Morgan. It's an honor and a pleasure to share the stage with you tonight. Let's take a moment to recognize and thank our sponsors whose contributions made this evening possible and the care and support Crescent Cove provides to children and families possible. Please recognize our presenting sponsors who have all been generously involved with Crescent Cove for years. Thank you to Teresa Fleischacker, Minnesota Masonic Charities, and Rizbrut Ian Charitable Trust. We also want to thank our generous community sponsors, Cambria, the Bame Foundation, Hackenmuller Meats, and Eric and Kelly Curry. 
Thank you to our amazing village sponsors, and thank you to our kin and friend sponsors and our talented and generous print and media sponsors. Can we all please give a round of applause for all of our sponsors? We thank you all for your generous support this evening. We're grateful to those organizations and businesses who've been steadfast supporters since the very first gala, and to those who are supporting our mission for the very first time. May of this year marks five years since Crescent Cove opened its doors. It also marks 13 years since Mariah died, 12 years since Harmon Killebrew died, and 12 years since Katie and Matt set out to fulfill this mission. Our family is one of many families that they and other founding board members met with to understand the needs of families whose children have life-threatening conditions. The home could not exist until the, the right licensing was put into place through efforts with legislature. They had to build awareness of this need and gather support and funding to open this beautiful home. Today, Crescent Cove is the place of light and love that Mariah imagined possible. And while Crescent Cove exists to serve people like my sister, it also exists to serve families like the one you're about to meet, whose son comes to Crescent Cove for respite care. Please meet the Wold family. The community that has grown around Crescent Cove has been absolutely inspiring to see all the families that we serve at Crescent Cove make every one of us here feel inspired and blessed to be a part of their care. Oliver was an unexpected miracle because with our first child we didn't infertility and then five months later I was pregnant with Oliver. It was a healthy pregnancy up until 37 and a half weeks. Marissa went in because she wasn't feeling movement. So Oliver was born with cerebral palsy. He had a severe brain injury when he was born. He was in the NICU for 21 days. The NICU was one of the hardest things in life. It's 21 days of torture. We didn't know if he was gonna come home. They did brain scans, and the doctor pretty much said that there's not much they can do to help, and he will be disabled. So for him to be where he was to where he is now is a big thing. He's far exceeded the expectations that that doctor told us. Yeah, he's a, he's a great human. He's definitely made mom and dad a lot stronger. We heard about Crescent Cove through another family that goes there. We had previously lived in Moorhead, Minnesota. We moved to the Minneapolis area for better services and they had said that you need to get him into Crescent Cove because it's such an amazing place. There is a perception for people who don't know Crescent Cove well that we solely provide end of life services. However, we provide respite services as well and create these lasting memories for kids. Respite's been really nice for us because the day-to-day -day is challenging and there's a lot to it. He needs to get away from us as much as we need a break from him sometimes. So all of us can just reset. It's always been Mike and I that have taken care of him. So having our first respite was scary. The first day when we did the drop off and we left, it was pretty emotional time, but it wasn't emotional for long because we knew he was gonna be okay. He's with nurses that are familiar with stuff like this, so we didn't have to worry. I know when he was there, they did an art bus, they do music therapy, pet therapy, I know they did some water play while he was there. He went on a boat ride. Oliver loves uh, sporting events. Well, more so dad does love sporting events. <laughs> I uh, love entertaining people, making people laugh. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I got a job with the Fargo Morehead Red Hawks. I was a mascot for the Red Hawks. I was just a big red bird. Um, I wore a baseball uniform with a hawk head. But we were like, okay, we need to move. So ended up quitting my dream job and moving down here. 
for Oliver. Uh, yeah. I'm Harper, and I'm Oliver's sister, and I love my brother, and my mom, and my dad. She loves being a big sister and is always so helpful. She's one of the best kids on the planet. She's so good with Oliver. Crescent Cove likes to include the whole family and make sure the whole family feels the same love that Oliver gets. I mean, the first time we took Oliver there, Harper begged to stay there. And we said it just, it wasn't for her, which is hard for her to understand. So when they did offer sibling camp, I asked her right away and her response was, of course. So sibling camp was created to provide them with the opportunity to see what their siblings have experienced. We had activities, we had boat rides. I liked going on boat rides and did some grass and ice cream truck. She loved it. She talked about it for weeks after. It was super cool of Crescent Cove to do something like that for kids like Harper. Whenever we picked up Oliver from Crescent Cove, he's always had a big smile on his face. And so we know that, we know he's safe and loved there. Life without Crescent Cove would be hard. The care that Crescent Cove brings you know that they're always going to be there for you. One way to describe all of our Crescent Cove families is that they are resilient and they are amazing teachers. We learn so much from every family that walks through the door. Uh, please don't be embarrassed that you've been emotionally touched by that. You've seen it for the first time. This is the fifth time I've seen it, and I react the same way every time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's recognize the Wold family who are here tonight with us. I understand that it's thanks to you, Mike, that Harrison Phillips of the Minnesota Vikings visited Crescent Cove to spend time with the number of the children there. Harrison had a signed football delivered to be given to you this evening. Our Crescent Cove nurse, Allie, will hand it off to you. And thanks to Chris Newberry with us tonight, our videographer, for such a beautiful job on this piece. Okay, so we're gonna have some more fun here tonight, folks. We're heading into our live auction this evening. Uh, to help us with our live auction is Stacy McKernan from Flat Above Advancement. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you so much, Morgan, for that lovely introduction. And thank you so much to Mike and Marissa for sharing your family with us tonight. The Wold family is one of more than 340 families supported by Crescent Cove. So let's give the Wold family another big round of applause for sharing their story with us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening, everyone. Again, my name is Stacy McKernan, and I'm with Flatabow Advancement, and I'm so honored to be serving as your auctioneer this evening. So, folks, is everyone having a fantastic time? Well, that was pretty good, but I think this crowd can do a lot better than that. So I said, is everyone having a fantastic time? 
Much better. Well, I'm so excited to be here myself, and we are going to have a great time. And thank you so much to Crescent Cove for inviting me to this wonderful night of celebration. I had the privilege to spend some time at Crescent Cove this fall to see for myself the magic of how they make moments count. And tonight, we are going to work together as a community to continue making moments count at Crescent Cove. And one way you can do that this evening is by bidding on our amazing live auction packages. Now, we do have five fantastic items to auction off here tonight. So at this time, I'd like you to grab your bid numbers, and these bid numbers are your permission to play tonight. So I just ask that if you choose to bid on an item, you raise your bid number high so that I can see you. And remember, folks, that there are no out-of-pocket costs for the families that we support and with each and every bid you make tonight, you are providing a loving and caring environment for children and families. So let's have some fun here tonight and feel free to spend foolishly because it's all going towards a great cause, okay? Now, Morgan, what do we have for item number one? Yes, so I, item number one is called Under the Stars and it's, an, and it's a two night stay at the Claret Domes in Lutzen, Minnesota. Enjoy two magical nights, excluding major holidays, in one of their incredible domes with a view of the northern sky. Each dome has been transformed into a space for peace and reflection. You will feel the busyness of life and uh, fall away after your restorative stay. At night, enjoy a red wine basket that includes a wooden crate with four stems, or Simsbury stemless glass, uh, wine glasses and two fancy bottles of wine and chocolates. In the morning, enjoy coffee from nearby Fika Coffee with a gift certificate. Thank you so much, Morgan. Folks, this is a fantastic item to start our live auction with, and this is one of the most popular places to stay in Lutzen where you can bring the outdoors in. So I've heard so many people talking about how amazing Clara is, and it's a, such a unique experience. And remember that tonight, when you bid on all these items, it's a guilt-free way to get something for yourself all while supporting Crescent Cove at the same time. So here we go. Let's start this auction off strong. We're going to start it low and let it go. Here we go. Start me at $500. $500 here. I have $550 by bid. Now what do you get? $750. $750 here. I have $750. Now $1,000. What do you go? $1,000. $1,000. I have $750 bid. $1,000. Thank you, folks. We're already at $1,000. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you at $1,000. $1,000 is bid. And now $1,250. $1,250 here. And now $1,500. What do you go? $1,500. $1,500. I have $1,250 bid. What do you go? $1,500. $1,500. Now what do you Give 15, 1250 is the bid. Would you go 1500? 1500, would you go 15? 1500, would you give 15? Thank you, they're in. 1500, now 1750. 1750, would you go 1750? The bid is at 1500, would you go 1750? 1750, now folks, don't worry about how much you're spending here tonight. We have people keeping track of that for you, okay? We have 1750. Thank you. We have a new bidder at 1750. Now two thousand dollars. Would you go to two thousand? Now would you give two thousand? Now two thousand. Would you bid two thousand? Two thousand dollars. It's like checkers. It's your move. Would you go two thousand dollars? The bid is at 1750. Thank you. Two thousand. Two thousand here. Now 2250. 2250. Would you go 2250? The bid is at 2000. Would you go 2250? 2250. Now would you go 2250? 2250. Thank you. In the back of the room. 2250. And now back to you at 2500. Would you go 25? 2500. Would you go 2500? 2500. Yes or yes at 2500. The bid is at 2250. Would you go 2500 dollars? 2500. 2500. Last and final call. Asking at 2500 dollars. And I sold it your way. Congratulations in the back of the room for $22.50. Could I get the winning bid number, please? The winning bid number is 384. That's 384. Is that correct? No, 394. 394. Let's give them a big round of applause for starting us off here in our auction tonight. Thank you so much. All right, Dick, what do we have for item number two? All right, item number two, I'm very happy and proud to be a part of. It's called an excursion at Target Field. This experience for four provides a pre- or post-game meal in the Champions Club at Target Field with me, followed by a white glove tour hosted by Clyde Deppner, curator for the Minnesota Twins, and another dear friend of Harmon's. This package includes four tickets to a 2023 Twins game in the Delta Sky 360 Club, 
It's an afternoon experience that's sure to delight any baseball fan. If it's a night game, we'll have the meal before the night game. The dates will be mutually agreed upon and will take place during this upcoming season. So you can have dinner with me, catch a ball game, and uh, have a wonderful time at Target Field. So, yes, sir, who, I can't. Well, that's a Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor. What do you think? If you, if you don't eat too much, sure, we'll, we'll allow you to come along. <laughs> so, at uh, uh, Champions Club at Target Field, for four, Paul and I will be your hosts and we'll talk some baseball and anything else you want to talk about. That sounds great, Dick. What a lovely addition. Let's give Paul and Dick a big round of applause for this fantastic item. Thank you so much to you both. Folks, you do not get many opportunities like this. It won't be here tomorrow. So bid now on this exclusive brunch tour and game at Target Field. So here we go. Let's start this one off at $1,000. 1000 here and now 1500 I have 15 bid now two. 2000 in the back of the room. We have 2000 now 2500 Everybody go 25 2500 Hey, thank you at 25 and now $3,000. We're at $3,000, folks. Let's give them a round of applause. We have $3,000 bid. 3000 and now 3500 Everybody go 35 3500 Everybody go 35 3000 is the bid. Everybody go 3500 3500 They're in. Now $4,000. $4,000. Everybody go 4 4000 Everybody get 4000 Now 4000 Everybody get 4000 4, 4, Folks, this is priceless at 4,000. What do you get? 4,000. We have 3,500. Bid, what do you go for? $4,000. 4,000. I promise I'll stop you when you get too high. What do you go? $4,000. 4,000. Give me 3,750. 3,750. One more time at 3,750. What do you go? 3,750. 3750 the fit is in the back of the room at 3,500. Last and final call asking at 3,750. And I sold it to you. Congratulations for $3,500. $3,500. Congratulations to you. Bid number 64. 64. Let's give them a huge round of applause. And thank you to Dick and Paul as well. Thank you so much. How about a nice hand for Paul Molitor who stepped up big time. All right, Morgan, what do we have for item number three? Our third package is another getaway, this time outside of two harbors at the beautiful Larsmont Cottages. Uh, your one-bedroom lakeside cottage has a stunning view of Lake Superior, a beautifully appointed cottage with full kitchen, fireplace, patio, and more. Enjoy a, two, a dinner for two at Ledge Rock Grill, the on-site restaurant on us. Uh, you can also enjoy the wood-fired sauna, bike, or snowshoe rentals, depending on the season. Fantastic. Thank you, Morgan. Folks, this is another fantastic North Shore getaway. This time it's for two nights, relaxing nights at Larsmont Cottages on the lovely Lake Superior. So let's raise some more money here tonight for Crescent Cove and for the kids and the families. We're going to start this one off here tonight at the very dis deeply discounted rate of $500. 500 where? I have 500 here now. 750. Would you go? 750. Thank you. And $1,000. We have 1,000 bid now. 1250. 1250 here now. 15. 1500. And 1750. Would you go? 1750. 1750. Now 2000. 2000. Would you go? 2. 2000. Right here. I have 2000 bid. Would you go? 2250. 2250. I have 2000 bid here. Would you go? 2250. 2250. Now what do you get? What do you get? 2250. 2250. Thank you. 2250. But I'll take 2500. 2500. Would you go? 25. 25. Thank you, 2500 now 2750 2750 It goes quickly, doesn't it? Would you go 2750 2750 They're in, 2750 Now 3000 $3,000. Let's give some, them some applause. Here we go. We're asking for $3,000. 3000 Would you go $3,000? $3, would you give $3,000? Now $3,000. Would you get $3,000? 3, $3,000. I have $2,750. Babe, would you go $3,000? $3,000. Would you go $3,000? Would you like to bid again? You just owned it a moment ago. Would you go $3,000? $3,000. Would you go $3,000? $3, Are we all in and all done? Last call. Asking at $3,000. And I sold it your way. Congratulations for $2,750. Thank you so much. The bid number is 179. That's 179. Let's give them a thunderous round of applause. Thank you so much and enjoy your stay.
Hey, Dick, this next one's pretty special. Yeah, sure is. Item number four, pretty special indeed. Be rare to find it anywhere else in uh, the world. Joe Maurer is welcoming six guests to spend 90 minutes having batting practice with him at his private batting facilities at Maurer Chevrolet. You don't have to buy a car or a truck, okay? You just get batting tips from one of the best ever to swing a bat. Uh, Joe and Maddie would have loved to have been here tonight. This cause is very near and dear to their hearts, but as many of you know, Joe's dad passed away last week, so we extend our sympathy to the family, but he is excited to have a batting practice with the winner of this auction item. It can be either a special treat for an adult baseball fan, maybe an incredible experience for a child's birthday, but you get a chance to get some batting tips from a legend. Paul Molitor's in the Hall of, Fi uh, Hall of Fame. Joe may be headed there as soon as next year. So let's uh, bid it up for a very unique item. Fantastic, Dick. Thank you so much. This truly is a priceless item, folks, and we are so grateful again to the Mowers for all the support that they provide to Crescent Cove. So this would be an experience of a lifetime. As Dick mentions, it's for adults or kids alike. Again, it's for six people. And folks, remember that when you're bidding on this package, that it's a win for you, and it's a win for Crescent Cove as well. So bid high, bid often. Who's ready to start me? At $1,000, 1,000 where? I have 1,000 here now, 1,500, 1,500 is bid. Now two, 2,000, where do you go? Two, 2,000, do I have 2,000 over here? Yes, thank you, 2,000, 2,000 is bid. Now 2,500, where do you go? 25, 2,500, where do you give 25? The bid is at 2,000, where do you go? 2,500, 2,500, where do you go? Yes, 25, and now 3,000, they're in at three. We have 3,000 here, now 3,500, where do you go? 35, 3,500, 3,000 is bid, where do you go? 3,500, 3,500, where do you go? 35. The bid is at 3,000. When you go 3,500, when you go 3,500, 3,500, 3,500. The bid is at 3,000. When you go 3,500, folks, don't let money stand between you and happiness. When you go 3,500, 3,500 dollars. When you go 35, the bid is at 3,000. Give me 3,250, 3,250. One more time at 3,250, 3,250. Would you get 3,250, 3,250? Do we have them in? Yes, 3250 right here. Thank you. You are not going to regret that bid. Thank you at 3250. 3250 here. Yes, they're in at 3500. 3500. Here we go. Auction on. Would you go 3750? 3750. Don't lose it now. Would you go 3750? 3750. Now would you get 3750? Yes. 3750 at 4000. Folks, we are at $4000. Let's give the whole crowd a big round of applause. We have 4,000 bid here. Would you go 4,250? 4,250. Would you go 4,250? You're wearing him out. Would you go 4,250? 4,250. Would you go 4,250? The bid is at four. Would you go 4,250? 4,250. It's only money. It'll grow back on Monday. Yes, 4,250. 4,250 here. Now 4,500. Thank you. 4,500. 4,500, would you go 4,750, 4,750, would you go 4,750, 4,750, would you go one more time at 4,750? Folks, do we think he should bid just one more time? 4,750, are you in at 4,750? The bid is at 4,500? Yes, 4,750! And now $5,000, 5,000, they're in at 5,000! 5,000 back to you at 5250. 5250. Don't get mad. Get even. Would you go 5250? <laughs> the bid is at 5,000. Would you go 5250? We can give you more applause. It worked last time, right? Would you go 5250? The bid is at 5,000. Would you go 5250? 5250. There's no ears to ears, just nose to toes, right? Would you go 5250? Last and final call, folks, asking at 5250. And I, S-O-L-D, sold it to you here for $5,000. Congratulations to you. Can I get your winning bid number, please? It is number 400. That's 400. Let's give them a big round of applause. And thank, up to, thank you to our backup bidder as well for getting in there. Thank you so much. All right, Morgan, what do we have for the next item?
So item number five is a special piece of art. You may have seen artist Paige Poppy creating this piece earlier during the reception. She was introduced to Crescent Cove by a longtime friend of Harmon's and would like to auction this piece off tonight uh, in Ar Harmon's honor. Many of you know that Joyful Artwork is a staple at Crescent Cove and we are honored to have this beautiful piece donated tonight. Folks, this is Paige, our artist. Let's give her a big round of applause for being here with us tonight. Thank you, Paige. Thank you so much for this beautiful piece. You're welcome to stay here. All right, folks, this again is a beautiful piece of artwork that Paige created right here tonight. I hope you had a chance to watch her. Thank you again, Paige. And friends, this would make a beautiful addition to any home. And Paige and I were talking earlier and she said she likes to tie in nature to her pieces. So she tied in the dragonfly tonight to represent Crescent Cove. So let's give Paige another big round of applause for this lovely donation. Thank you so much, Paige. All right, folks, who's ready to kick me off? At $250, 250 here, I have 250 bid. Now 500, we have 500 bid. And now 750, thank you, 750 and $1,000. Thank you, we have 1,000 now, 1250, would you go 1250? I have $1,000 bid, would you go 1250? 1250, would you go 1250? 1,000 is bid, would you go 1250 dollars? 1250 now, would you give 1250 now, would you give 1250? 1250, I have $1,000 bid, would you go 1250? Folks, remember with artwork, the more you spend, the more it's worth, right? Would you go 1250, I have $1,000 bid, give me 1100. 1100, would you go 11? One more time at 1100. 1100, would you go 11? 1100 dollars. Thank you. We have 1100 bid. Now 12. 1200, would you go 1200? 1200, would you give 12? Now 12, would you go 12? 1200, the bid is at 1100, would you go 12? 1200, now would you give 1200? 1200 dollars, folks. Last and final call. Thank you. 1200, we have 1200 here. 1200, now 13. 1300, would you give 13? 1300, the bid is at 12, would you go 13? $1,300. Last and final call, asking it. Thank you, they're in at $1,300. $1,300 in the back of the room. Thank you, sir. What took you so long? Would you go, thank you, at $1,300. Now $14. $1,400, would you get $14? $14, they're in at $14. Now back to you at $15. $1,500, would you get $15? $1,500? Fifteen hundred. Would you go fifteen hundred? Yes, they're in at fifteen. Now sixteen. They're in at sixteen. Now seventeen. Seventeen hundred. Would you go seventeen? Seventeen hundred. This next bid will only stink for the next ten minutes. I promise. Would you go seventeen hundred? The bid is at sixteen. Would you go seventeen? Seventeen hundred. Last and final call. Asking at seventeen hundred dollars. And I sold the piece to you. Congratulations for sixteen hundred. 1600 could I get the winning bid number, please? Number 429, is that correct? 429, let's give them a thunderous round of applause. Thank you to Paige as well. We appreciate you being here so very much. Thank you, Paige. That's awesome. Uh, Stacy, I've, I've told a number of people this already tonight that this event is one of the highlights of my off season and I think I've proven already how near and dear to my heart the mission for, of Crescent Cove is. Uh, so this is a fun night for me, but it also gives me a chance to uh, empty out my closet from time to time. And I get to find things that, that I think some of you might uh, enjoy. And this year, uh, out of my closet, directly to the winning bidder, I've always felt that Harmon Killebrew should be part of this event, even though he didn't get a chance to see uh, the building itself. Um, Harmon was instrumental in launching the campaign that led to Crescent Cove. So I have, last year we had a Harmon Killebrew autograph ball. Here's a Harmon Killebrew autograph bat. I am your certificate of authenticity. <laughs> it is Harmon's game model bat, an S207. He has autographed it and uh, signed under here 573 home runs. When he retired, he was fourth all time. In, on the home run list in Major League Baseball. So Harmon's here tonight uh, in the form of this autographed bat. Again, it's his game model bat, not game used, but his game model bat. And uh, take it away. Thank you so much, Dick. Thank you, thank you so much for this lovely last surprise item. Let's give Dick a big round of applause. <laughs> Dick, I'm guessing there aren't many of these around yet to still be able to purchase. So this is a special, special piece. 
in addition to our live auction here tonight. So folks, before we sell this item, let's give a big round of applause to Dick and Morgan for being our amazing MCs here this evening. Thank you so much to both Dick and Morgan. Dick, thank you again for this lovely donation. Folks, let's make Harmon proud here tonight with this and finish strong with this last item. So here we go. Somebody start me. That's seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven fifty. Where I have seven fifty here, and a thousand dollars is bid. A thousand. We have a thousand bid now. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty here now. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen. Would you get fifteen? Fifteen hundred. Would you go fifteen? I have fifteen hundred here, but I'll take seventeen fifty. Yes, seventeen fifty. Now two thousand dollars. Are you in for two? Two thousand here, and now twenty two fifty. Would you go twenty two fifty? We have twenty two fifty now. Twenty five hundred, and now twenty seven fifty. Would you go twenty seven fifty? Twenty seven fifty now. Three thousand dollars. Would you go three? Three thousand. Would you go three? Three thousand. I have 2750 bid. Would you go $3,000? 3000 Would you go $3,000? $3,000? This is worth well more than $3,000, folks. Thank you, New Fire, right here in the front. Thank you at $3,000. Folks, let's give them some applause. We're at $3,000. 3000 here. Now 3250. Thank you. We're at 3250. Now 3500. 3500. Would you go 35? And now 3750. 3750. Would you go 3750? 3750. Would you go 3750? 3750. Yes, we have 3750 in the back of the room. Thank you. Now $4,000. 4000. We have 4000. $4,000 for the back. Can you believe it, Dick? He can't believe it. <laughs> you should. Here we go. We're still going. We have four thousand dollars. Pay. Would you go forty-two fifty? Forty-two fifty. Forty-two fifty. You'd be the talk of your neighborhood, right? Would you go forty-two fifty? I have four thousand dollars. Pay. Would you go forty-two fifty? Forty-two fifty. Forty-two fifty. Sir, you've run a good race, but you're currently in second place. Would you go one more time at forty-two fifty? Forty-two fifty. Yes or no, I gotta go at 42.50, last and final call. And I sold, sold, sold it to you right here for $4,000. Congratulations to you. Keep, keep it or? You can go right up there. Okay. Come on up. And the bid number oh, no. is 68, is that Come correct? 68, thank you so much. Come on up. Come on up. To our winner, Let's come on up for the presentation of the bat. Let's give them another big round of applause. Thank you again. Let's give Dick some love as well for providing this amazing surprise live auction item to us. And folks, that does conclude our live auction here tonight. Let's give the entire crowd a big round of applause for their participation in the live auction here tonight. There you go. All right, you bet, Michael. All right. Morgan, back to you. Thanks so much. That was so incredible. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Stacy. Um, thanks for everyone for helping us raise the money this evening to support Crescent Cove. Um, I'm thrilled to introduce you now to our founder and executive director, director Katie Lindenfelser, and Crescent Cove's board chair, Jeff Kaufman. They will let us know how things are going at this beautiful place. Thank you, Morgan and Dick and Stacy, and thank you all for being here. And I think Mariah is very proud of, proud of you, Morgan. I am honored that she would take the time to be here with us with Dick as our MC. And as Mariah was dying of Ewing sarcoma, I was a music therapist at the Children's Hospital and heard that she asked to die at a children's hospice as we were just starting our efforts with our nonprofit. My heart was racing. And not long later, I knew I wouldn't meet Mariah. She had two weeks to live at that time. A colleague and music therapist friend of mine who's here tonight, Aaron Fox, called and said, my coworker's coming back to work and we're not sure how to welcome her back. Her daughter Mariah just died. She just had a baby, a lot was going on. And I said, you know Mariah's mom? She said, yes. I said, could you tell her about our nonprofit to build the children's hospice? And the rest is history. We met her dad and mom and grandma and many friends. And uh, Mariah is a part of our mission in a really big way, as is Harmon and so many other beautiful children and families. So I'm humbled and honored to be with you this evening to celebrate all of our special children and families and all that is possible because of your generosity and involvement and support all these years. We're filled with joy and gratitude every day at Crescent Cove as we 
see and witness our nurses and our volunteers cuddling and hugging and playing and all the beautiful voices that sing out at Crescent Cove on a daily basis. We spend so many years working to open our hospice and respite home, as you know, and we're humbled as we have reflected on Mariah's and Harmon's legacy to see that this home exists in our community. For almost five years, we've been open, serving precious children and families. And each and every day, we witness the loving care that parents provide in the midst of uncertainty, upheaval, and the unknown. And we see and hear the great need for Crescent Cove. Our staff and volunteers pull out all stops to make it the best day ever, which is actually the quote from Mariah, that she wants to make the best, best day ever for each child and family, not knowing if they have a day, a week, or months to live. What matters is how we spend the moment right here, right now, in front of us. When a 16-year-old girl arrived for her first respite stay this week with her single dad, we asked, is there anything special she likes to eat as we're preparing lunch? He said her all-time favorite is a bologna sandwich. We ran off to my dad's meat market, Hackett Miller Meats, <laughs> down the road, <laughs> and bought some bologna. And she was as happy as a lark with her bologna sandwich. And some of you might have seen her in WCCO this, this week, her beautiful, bright smile. In addition to the extraordinary children and fa families, we have an outstanding team of staff and nurses and volunteers and a most remarkable board of directors, many who are here with us tonight. I'm honored to be joined on stage by Jeff Kaufman, chairman of our Crescent Cove Board of Directors. Thanks, Katie. First of all, Wow. <laughs> Some of you have been here multiple times, and we thank you for that. Some of you are here for the first time, and we thank you for that. So please give yourselves a round of applause for coming tonight and supporting this unbelievable cause. It really is an honor to serve as the chair of our board and to share the growth we've had in the last year. As the first of its kind in Minnesota and the Midwest, and just the third in the United States, and uh, Terry Fleischacker reminded me uh, just a little while ago that Harmon Killebrew's number was number three, and we're the third home in the United States. We hope there will be more, we know there will be more, and we want to help pave the way for that as well. Our joyful and vibrant respite and hospice home continues to support more families every year. We're truly honored to support a total of 344 families, up from 85 families when we first opened. Each family enrolled with Crescent Cove courageously meets the daily challenges of caring for their child with complex medical needs. Our team is honored to be entrusted to lovingly and skillfully care for each and every child and always consider his or her unique needs and interests. We have some special highlights and accomplishments to share tonight from this past year. Thank you to our attorneys and state leaders and reimbursement task force of board members. We launched legislation for our state to lead the way covering end of life care for children. We're back at the legislature again this session as there's currently no insurance reimbursement for these services at Crescent Cove. Our eighth annual pediatric palliative, palliative care symposium that was launched by Dr. Jim Rice, our first board chair who's here, has become a highlight of education, fostering and focusing on the spiritual and emotional dimensions of what our kids and families deal with that helps all of us to learn and grow. This year we learned from local and international presenters, including our own medical director, Dr. Lon Nguyen, our director of nursing, Dr. Catherine Kenny, Ted Bowman, and Brian Kingswriter, both who have provided support to staff and counseling groups for our Crescent Cove parents and staff for years now. Thanks to our amazing team of staff and volunteers, the enthusiasm blew us out of the water for those who participated in our first ever sibling camp, where the siblings of Crescent Cove, like Harper, got to come to stay overnight and have more fun than they could have imagined. We can't wait to host it again this summer. And again this year, we welcomed all of our bereaved families for our remembrance gathering in the fall where we celebrated and grieved the memories of each precious child. Most notably, we provided more than 700 nights of respite and end-of-life care this past year. This was possible because of, we achieved our goal of having two nurses on all shifts. 
and the most dedicated and compassionate group at that. This brings us close to capacity. And as a board, we're looking at how to grow or how to add another home in order to serve more families who need us. We are starting this year by adding and renovating a second family suite that will swap between a child's room and a family suite. We faced a difficult moment this past summer when two little girls were dying at the same time, and we realized that we need a second family suite. Remember, all of this is at no out-of-pocket cost to families, allowing a break from everyday caregiving. No cost for families when seeking an alternative space to their home or the hospital to care for their child as he or she is entering the last sacred moments of life. No cost to receive integrative therapies such as music therapy, healing touch, massage, she art therapy, pet therapy, or spiritual care. And no cost for families to gain a community that supports each other, lifts each other up, and finds joy, solace, and peace. Our annual budget is about 2.7 million. Your support this evening makes it possible for us to lovingly care for children. We hope tonight that you will donate to support our kids. And please continue to invite your colleagues, bosses, family, friends, and neighbors to become involved at Crescent Cove. Remember, all the services and support we provide at Crescent Cove are at no out-of-pocket cost to families. And this is possible only because of your support as a donor. Thank you, Jeff. Now I'm honored to introduce you to a mom who knows the blessing of both respite and end of life care at Crescent Cove. Carrie's family was one of our first families who trusted us, who came to Crescent Cove when we first opened almost five years ago. I'll remember her little guys and us putting the couches around in a circle so we could in keep them enclosed and safe. And we realized that wasn't really safe because they could jump over the couch. <laughs> it brings tears to my eyes now to remember the night that Leo died at Crescent Cove this past fall. One of our other children who was staying for respite as a teenager, she was open to participating and being present along Leo's honor walk with the support of our amazing team. The sacred walk, our honor walk, as we carried Leo's body out of Crescent Cove. During the honor, honor walk, we line the hallways with lights, have an altar of legacy pieces that he made, and our staff and volunteers as loving presence. As Carrie said goodbye to Leo, I leaned over to the girl who was staying for respite and asked if she was comfortable with all of this. She said, yes, I want to see it all. Crescent Cove is a place where we're all in it together, the joy and the sorrow. Please help me welcome Crescent Cove mom, Carrie Edberg. Thank you. I am truly honored to be here to represent Crescent Cove. When I got the invitation, I was very excited. Then after thinking for a while, I realized I had nothing to wear. As a mom to medical children, I rarely get out, let alone having to dress up to go somewhere. Um, going to stores and trying on clothes with medical need kids is next to impossible. So I went on to Amazon and I said, Amazon, please do not fail me. And I got a beautiful dress. So. <laughs> um, so having children who need hospital level care, you don't often get a break from them. Um, usually they need 24 hour nursing and it's hard to get nursing in the house. And when my children are in the hospital, um, people think it's a break time for mom, but it's not because I'm driving back and forth every day to the hospital and then back home for all my other children. Um, I am a single mom and I have seven boys. Like you said, Leo has passed, he's now in heaven. Um, so having children, um, with medical needs, I rarely get a break. So coming to Crescent Cove for two of my children, Leo and Milo, um, who both have life-threatening conditions, was a vacation for them and for me. When they were there, they did art, music, boat rides, outside play, sensory play, and lots of one-on-one -on -one attention. And that respite helped juvenate both them and me and all my other children. So the two sons that I have with significant needs um, this past fall with Leo, I knew his body was getting tired and fighting. I made calls to set up hospice for him. I wasn't sure at this time if I was going to go to Crescent Cove or have him pass at home. 
After talking to my older boys, it was decided that Crescent Cove would be best for us. So the next day, I had called Crescent Cove to start setting up the hospice process. That Friday, I got a call from Leo's school. He was having seizures that just were not stopping. So I brought him home to provide him comfort and care. I called Crescent Cove and I set up hospice for him to arrive on that Monday. They worked super fast to get him in. Crescent Cove allowed me to bring my two boys um, with me to Crescent Cove when Leo was staying there for hospice. We were provided a room to stay in, warm food, quiet time, and most importantly, time with Leo. Crescent Cove cared for Leo so I could just be a mom for his last few days. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. On Wednesday, Leo passed away. My boys and I laid there next to him. Crescent Cove did not rush us for any. We laid there with him for hours, said our goodbyes. They took care of Milo so I could spend more time with my son. Um, and Milo loves to be at Crescent Cove, so it was great. So when we go to Crescent Cove, even now for a respite, we're always reminded of Leo who passed away there. And it's always a special place for us. So with all of you all in this room, our family would not have gotten the support that we needed. So I wanna thank all of you very much for all that you do. This is Leo. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for sharing your story with us tonight and for the wonderful reminder of why we are all gathered together here this evening. So we can support families like yours and care for children like Milo and Leo. Folks, in the next few minutes, it's where we can make the greatest impact of the night. The Wold, the Edberg, and Tiff families are some of more than 340 families supported by Crescent Cove. And it's because of the generosity of all of you in this room tonight that we could make this available. In this year alone, 738 nights of respite and end of care, end of life care to Crescent Cove families. And that's 25% more care than the previous year. And this means more nursing care, more music therapy, more pet therapy, and more of the things that make Crescent Cove that magical place that it is. So our goal tonight, working together, is to attempt to, to, attempt to raise at least $150,000 to continue the ser services that we provide at Crescent Cove. And again, there is no out-of-pocket costs to families. But tonight, we also have a personal goal, and that is the goal of participation. We'd love to see 100% participation as you consider giving at a level that is meaningful to you. So to contribute at a specific giving level, please just raise your bid number high and keep it up until I say your number. And if you aren't raising your number at the time, you still have a job to do, and that is to applaud and support all those who are giving in the moment. And if you're watching online, and we sure hope that you are, you can participate too. So for our guests watching from home, you can contribute by selecting the Make a Donation on One Cause, which was the site you were bidding on your silent auction items, or you can donate directly through the Crescent Cove website. So here we go. Let's make a difference working together. Folks, tonight our first giving level is going to be $15,000. So I open it up to all of you to ask if there's anyone here tonight who is willing to generously start us off and provide a starting contribution of $15,000. 15000 Anyone at 15000 Yes, right here. Thank you. We have number 64 in the back of the room for $15,000. Thank you so much. We have another right here. Yes, number 443. Four, also at $15,000. Thank you so much. I've got you in. 
in at number 64 for $15,000. Anyone else at $15,000? 15000 Folks, let's give them a big round of applause for starting us off strong here tonight. Again, we are starting off strong. Our next giving level is going to be $10,000. So please join me. Grab those bid numbers down to join me for a gift of $10,000. 10000 where? 10000 right here. Thank you, number one, four, four at $10,000. Thank you so very much. Right here. Thank you. Oh, look at this very young contributor. Number 87. 87 for $10,000. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Number two, five, three, also at $10,000. Yes, thank you. Let's give them a round of applause at $10,000. Anyone else at $10,000? $10,000. Fantastic. Let's give everyone who has given so far a big round of applause. Wonderful. We are making great things happen here tonight. Folks, our next giving level is going to be $5,000. So please join me now for a gift of $5,000. Do I have one here? Yes, we do. Number 489. Thank you, another young contributor. Number 489 at $5,000. Thank you so much. Number 330. Thank you also at $5,000. Here we go. Look at them all here. No, number 282. Two. Thank you for $5,000. Number 227. Two, also at $5,000. Number 350. Thank you so much at $5,000. 5000 Anyone else at $5,000? Fantastic. Let's give everyone some love that has contributed. We are making an impact here tonight. Great work, folks. We are supporting families which eat, which, with each and every gift here tonight. So our next giving level is going to be $2,500. So who's ready to join me for a gift? Raise them up. Thank you. $2,500 right here. Number 429. Thank you. Number 429. Number 175. Also at $2,500. Thank you. Number 70. Thank you. Number 70. Number 143. Thank you at $2,500. Keep that applause coming. Here we go. Number 503 at $2,500. 25 on this side of the room as well. We have number two, 219, that's 219 for $2,500. Outstanding, 2,500, anybody else at 2,500? Very good, folks. We are already at, this is amazing, 127,225. Thousand dollars, we're almost to $130,000, just 20, thousand shy from our goal of 150,000. Let's blow it out of the water here tonight, folks. This each and every gift, again, is just so meaningful here tonight. But before I ask at our next giving level of $1,000, I do have some wonderful news to share with you here tonight. You have the opportunity tonight to double your impact as we have received an incredibly generous $25,000 matching gift from Joe and Maddie Maurer. <laughs> yes, they deserve that applause for this incredible showing of kindness and support with this matching gift here tonight. So again, we appreciate the Maurer so very much. And what this means is that for each and every one of your gifts that we receive, it will be matched dollar for dollar and doubled up to that $25,000 matching amount. So let's make sure we're taking full advantage of this matching gift. So folks, a gift of $1,000 would be a $2,000 contribution with the Mowers match. So can we possibly receive 25 gifts at $1,000 here tonight? Let's do it. Raise those numbers up. One starting me right here, number 18. Thank you so much. Number 18, number three, one. Two, thank you, number two, nine, one. Thank you, number four, seven, seven. Thank you, number 16. Thank you so much, number five, zero, seven. Thank you, number one, one, six. Thank you, number 76. Thank you, number two, five, 
four. Thank you, number three, nine, nine. Thank you so much, number one, six, five. Thank you, number one, four, two. Thank you, number 96. Thank you, number two, nine, six. Thank you, number five, one, zero. Is that right? Five, one, zero. Thank you, number one, four, eight. Thank you, number four, zero, four. Thank you, number two, zero, zero, four. Four. That is a big number. Thank you. Number two, seven, six. Thank you. Number two, seven, five. And number two, two, five. Thank you. Number four, zero, six. Thank you. Number two. Thank you. Number three, nine, eight. Thank you so much. Number 40. Thank you. Number one, six, three. Thank you. Number 82. Thank you so much for a thousand dollars. Let's keep this going. Here we go. Number 45, thank you, number 375, thank you, number 228, thank you, number 2001, thank you so much, number 209, thank you, number 377, and 378, thank you, number 408, and 254, thank you, number 246, and 181, thank you, number 253, and 60, thank you, number 60, number 222, two, two. thank you, number 141, one. thank you, number 189, and number 19, that's 19 for $1,000. Folks, do you think we hit our match at the $1,000 giving level? I know we did, and you guys are all a group of overachievers here tonight because I counted 43 gifts at $1,000. Give yourselves a big round of applause. All right, folks, we're almost to $180,000. Wouldn't it be amazing here tonight if we could get to $200,000? I believe we can do it. Let's keep working together. We have more giving levels for you here tonight. Everyone has an opportunity to give at a level that they're comfortable with. And to our online viewers that have given so far, thank you to you as well. So folks, our next giving level is gonna be $500. Who's ready to start me off for a gift of 500? Right here in the front. Thank you, number two, eight, seven. Number one, one, four. Thank you, number three, one, four. And four, five, two. Thank you, number two, seven, three. And two, three, two. Thank you, number three, five, three. And one, one, zero. Thank you, number four, four, five. And one, three, three. Thank you, number four, eight, zero. And nine, Eight, thank you. And on this side of the room, we have number nine and number two, six, eight. Is that correct? Yes, two, six, eight. Number one, one, six. I've got number nine in. Thank you so much. We have in the back of the room number one, five, five. Is that correct? It is one, five, five. Thank you. Number three, three, one. Number three, thank you. Number four, two, eight. Thank you so much. This side of the room, we have number four, eight, five, and one, nine, nine. Thank you. Number two, one, zero, and five, one, eight. Thank you. Number, is it five, one, four? Thank you. Number four, four, two. Thank you. Number four, nine, four. Thank you for your patience. Number one, nine, seven. Thank you. Number five, zero, six, and one, nine, three. Is that correct? One, nine, three. Thank you. Number 28 for $500. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. So close to 195,000. I like goals. Let's try to shoot for 250,000. What do you think? Here we go. We're going to keep going. Folks, each pledge is so significant here tonight. Our next level, let's get to at least over 200,000, is $250. 250 where? Who's ready to start me at 250? Thank you. Number 230. Thank you. Number 271. And 464. Thank you. Number 157. And 460. Thank you. Number 212. Thank you. I've already got 464 and I've already got them in. I've got them in there. Thank you so much. Number 198. Thank you. Number 390. And 322. 
three. Thank you, number three, four, three. And one, nine, seven. Thank you, number two, four, zero. Thank you. And number, thank you, number one, five, seven. And 74. Thank you, number one, seven, two. And 87. Thank you so much, number four, five, five for $250. Here we go. Keep applauding, folks. Number one, seven, six. Thank you, number four, two, four, and 24. Thank you, number 65. Number two, six, six. Thank you, number 31. Number 23, thank you, number eight. Thank you, number two, seven, eight. And number one, eight, three. Thank you, number 21. Number three, six, two. Thank you, number 30. Thank you so much, number three, eight, seven, four, seven, two, two, three, eight. Thank you, number one, zero, five, one eight two. Thank you, number three seven five two two eight. Thank you, number two zero eight three seven eight. Thank you, number one seven three and two one eight. Thank you. Can you? <laughs> We've got some homemade numbers here. Number nine one seven eight. That's nine one seven eight. Did I miss others? At 250, I did number 72, also at $250. And number 346, is that right? 346, yes, for 250. Let's give them all some love. Thank you so much. Great round. <laughs> Who did I miss? Do we have, do we have a number? Five, two, three. Five, two, three. Thank you, sir. Five, two, three. Thank you so much. Folks, I am shouting out giving levels, but if you want to shout out a million dollars tonight, I will take that from you as well. So look, folks, we're already at $203,825,000. Amazing. We've blown our goal out of the water. Let's keep working together, though. Folks, we are on the home stretch now. You're doing great work, but we're not done just yet. Again, thank you to all of our online contributors too. So folks, our last giving level is $100. And I'd like you to consider this. We have about 500 people gathered together here tonight. And if every single person in this room and each of you watching virtually here tonight gave a gift of $100, we could raise over $50,000 to support families in a matter of a couple minutes. And I know many of you have given already, but if you feel so inspired to contribute again, we would appreciate nothing more. So let's finish strong. Please join me for a gift of $100. $100 where? Thank you, number three, five, eight. Thank you, number one, five, seven, and four, eight, six. Thank you, number 56. Thank you, number one, three, seven, and seven. Thank you, number nine, zero. Thank you, number two, eight, six. Thank you, number two, zero, five, and 35. Thank you, and 14. Thank you, number 98. Thank you, number 151. Thank you, and number 12. Thank you, number 233. Three. Again, that's 233. Three. Thank you, number 170 and 116. Thank you, number 51. Thank you, number 52. Thank you, number 345 and 246 and 181. Thank you. Look at this little boy. He's holding up two numbers. Thank you, number 251 and 254. Thank you so very much. Number 209 and 228. Thank you, number 362 and 243. Thank you, number 457 and 106 and 250. Thank you, number 253 and 166. Thank you, number 190. Can you turn the number for me, please? The little boy in the red, can we spin the number just a bit more? Thank you, number 86. Thank you, number two, one, three. And number three, zero, two. Thank you, number four, one, six. We're, we're missing a shoe here. If anybody's missing their shoe, it goes along with the credit card. Number three, nine, two. Thank you, number three, nine, one, one, four, one. Thank you, number three, seven, eight. Thank you so much. We have more in the back. Number three, zero, four, three, six, zero. Thank you, folks, keep applauding. Here we go, we're almost done. Number four, nine, seven. Number three, nine, three. Thank you, number four, six, five, and two, six, nine. Is that right? 
Yes, it is. The boys choir is representing here tonight. Pardon me. Number four, eight, nine. Thank you. Number three, five, five. Is that right? Yes. Number two, zero, two. And four, nine, eight. Thank you. Number four, one, five. And three, zero, seven. Thank you. Number 96. Thank you. Number two, nine, six. And two, nine, five. And one, zero, eight. Thank you. Number one, two, eight. And one, two, seven. And three, eight, three. Thank you. Number 93. Number 94. Number one, seven, nine. Thank you. Number three, four, six. Number one, one, one. One, four, seven. Thank you. Number three, seven, nine. Four, nine, zero. Thank you. Number two, eight, nine. One, six, three. Thank you. Number two, nine, nine. Two, zero, one. Thank you. Number one, two, four. Number 40. Thank you. Number five, two, six. Thank you. Number one, three, six. And four, four, eight. Thank you. Number two, seven, five. And one, three, zero. Thank you. We have two more homemade numbers. I'm loving these. Number nine, one, seven, nine, nine, one, seven, nine, and two, zero, zero, eight. Thank you. Am I missing one? Thank you. Number two, seven, six, and a hundred dollars. On this side of the room, we have a few more. Please pardon me cutting through. Number 44. Thank you. Number 45. Thank you. And number two, zero, zero, two. At $100. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> Folks, fantastic. Look at our number on the screen. 210,375,000. <laughs> Give yourselves a big round of applause for this wonderful giving moment. <laughs> Incredible. Folks, as an auctioneer, I do like nice round numbers. So if anyone feels so inspired to help us get to 250,000, we would take that remaining amount from you at checkout. So folks, that does conclude our giving moment. Again, let's give the entire crowd a big round of applause for your kindness here tonight. And please note that if you choose to give anonymously here tonight or at a level that I didn't mention, you can still do so by selecting the make a donation option using one cause, which was the site you were using for mobile bidding. So we do have many children in the audience here tonight who are giving money that they collected through their piggy banks or by raising money doing odd jobs or babysitting. And these amounts may be less than $100, but truly every amount contributed here tonight does make a difference. So thank you again for your participation this evening. And now I would like to welcome Katie back to the stage to recognize our MVP so volunteer. So welcome back, Katie. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Let's give her a round of applause. You make that so much fun and so easy. <laughs> it was a little boy who Mariah babysat who cross-stitched little lighthouses. Our first name was Children's Lighthouse and sold them for a dollar before our first gala and sold about 50 of them, and that was $50 towards one day having our children's hospice open and one day having a room where all of us would be here together supporting kids and families. So we're immensely grateful for all of your support and all that it took for so many of you along the way to be here. I'm honored to introduce our volunteer MVP, Denise. Volunteers, as you know, are an essential part and a gift to our team offering love and support to children and families. In the past year, more than 125 volunteers helped us at Crescent Cove. Our garden committee keeps our grounds beautiful and inviting. Our busy bee volunteers keep our home clean and provide meals to families and staff. And our dragonfly volunteers spend quality time cuddling, reading, playing, going on walks, and it's thanks to the 2,700 hours from these generous volunteers that has reduced our overall operating costs at Crescent Cove so that more of every dollar raised here goes directly to pay for the care for children. The volunteer we have in honor of recognizing as our MVP this year has a special place in our hearts and in our family's hearts. She was our ECFE teacher for our sons Daniel, Andrew, and Harmon. And Sarah, my sister, introduced her years ago and said, you have to move to Robbinsdale to have Denise as your teacher. At her retirement, she became a volunteer at Crescent Cove. We're so honored, Denise. 
The twins, as you know, the Minnesota twins donated a beautiful outdoor mini play field, baseball field in honor of Harmon, where we not only play baseball, but Denise brings the children out on the soft turf to do yoga. Her time has transitioned into weekly sensory play sessions, and Denise, as you can see, is full of love and joy, and it's palpable when she walks in and arrives each week at Crescent Cove. Each child she visits feels loved, seen, and special. Denise, we're honored to present you with the 2023 Volunteer MVP Award. Congratulations, and thank you for all that you do. This plaque has Harmon's quote on it. Life, life is precious and time is a key element. Let's make every moment count and help those that have a greater need than our own from Harmon and made by hand by my cousin Christy, who's here tonight too. So it's a handmade piece for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Such a gift. Thank you, Katie. Little things, little moments. They aren't little. This is a quote from John Kabat-Zinn, who teaches mindfulness. I think of this often when I am with children. I've had many big moments, many amazing moments, as an early childhood and family educator, as a special education teacher, a yoga and meditation instructor, and now as a sensory play provider at Crescent Cove. Sensory play is activity that stimulates a child's senses, the way he or she perceives the world. It engages, nurtures, and calms the child. Before meeting and engaging with someone's son or daughter, I learn about them. I learn about their unique abilities and their interests so I can plan and create an experience just for them. For one child, I might bring a toy for them, or for me to activate different lights and sounds, or objects of different textures to touch, or Play-Doh to mold. I might draw the outline of their favorite superhero for them to color, or make them a special puppet. I might play their favorite music, or sing them silly songs, or sing the same silly song a dozen times. Sometimes I provide gentle touch, like a hand massage. I pay close attention to how they respond. Sometimes they giggle or smile, or their muscles relax, and their breathing becomes steadier, or they drift off into a nap. They lead me to what happens in the next moment. In our time together, I want each child to be nurtured, to feel respected, and to experience some joy. Being at Crescent Cove, being with your children, is like being in a haven of kindness with compassionate staff and volunteers. I love my time there. Little moments, they aren't little, they are precious. Thank you. Very nice. Denise, you embody the spirit of Crescent Cove, and what a gift you are to each and every child whose life you've touched. Thank you, Denise, and to all the incredible volunteers and staff at Crescent Cove, and thank you to the Wold family, Carrie, Stacy. Katie and Jeff, Jenny, Josh, our gala committee for helping to make this a magical evening. Last time I looked, $212,000 raised in the fund of need. Um, I'm proud to have been in this room tonight. Congratulations and thank you. And thank you, Morgan, for sharing the stage with me this evening. We. Uh, certainly feel Mariah and Harmon in this place, don't we? Yeah. Um, and thank you, Dick. And thanks to all of you, both here in the ballroom and online, for making this an amazing evening. 
Uh, before we all leave for the evening, we do as we do at Crescent Cove, I would like you all to join me in wishing a very special girl a happy birthday. Today, Harper, Ollie's big sister, is turning eight. Sue, please lead us in the piano, and everyone, please join us in singing happy birthday. Happy birthday, Harper, and from all of us, and we hope that this is a night you'll remember all of your life, and we will too. Before you leave, among your table mates, determine who has a birthday closest to tonight, and that person can take home the flowers from your table. And if everyone could please hand your name tag to a volunteer at the door, we'd appreciate it. If you want a silent auction item, stop by the checkout table and pick that up. Thank you again. Good night. Let's do this again next year. God bless you all.